Hi, so um, today's topic is uh, natural logs properties. Um, this, uh, this discussion is not intended to, uh, to show you all the properties and how to prove those properties. Uh, rather, I want you to, uh, through this discussion, to remember these properties uh, more easily. So here's one of the properties that uh, I found as, as a student hard to remember. So this natural log A plus natural log B is equal to a natural log of A times B. So um, I found this pretty hard to remember, but um, I remember other properties pretty easily, such as this. So um, e to the um, xa, xa is another variable, times e to the uh, xb, another variable. These are powers. So that should be e equal to e to the uh, xa plus xb. So I found this relationship a little easier to understand. And also um, to, to make it a bit more solid, let's just say 10 to the third power, 1000 times 10 to the um, second power, 100. So you know this is 100,000, right? So this is 100,000, which is 10 to the 3 plus 2 power, right? Right, so you can, you can imagine this as, well, if you have the same exact base and the powers will add when the two numbers are multiplied together. So hopefully um, by this point, even if you forgot this relationship, just by looking at this, uh, you find it easier to, to actually recover that, that memory is just um, a thousand times a hundred is a hundred thousand. And how do you make a hundred thousand 10 to the three plus two power, right? Hopefully this other relation is also uh, easy to understand. So for example, uh, e to the uh, natural log, whatever uh, value is just equal to a, right? Because uh, exponential function and natural log function, they, uh, they are um, inverse function of each other. So if you take a, a function, try to transform a into something else, and then try to do, oh, let's just go backwards, invert it, and then you're back to a, right? So um, now let's make an, an interesting observation here. Let's call this natural log a equal to x a. All right, so I can, I can make that definition. Uh, natural log b equals x b. Next, let's do uh, a times b. Okay. Okay, so a times b. Because of these relationships, right, if you, if you say e to the natural log a, that is taking the exponential function on the left side, and then you also have to do this, right? The right side also has to get that. And we know what this is, right? This is just a because of that function and its invert function. And same thing applies here. So if you take the uh, exponential function of, uh, of natural log b, um, well, you get e to the uh, xb by this definition above, and you get b. And then I took an exponential function of the left side uh, and then I'll, I also took an exponential function on the right side. So raise this to that, right? Raise to this. So um, this side, according to the definition, uh, is supposed to be A. And uh, I did a similar thing for the B. So now, if I multiply A with B, I can use these instead of A and B. Okay, so now I have um, e to the x a times e to the x b. So that is according to what we just reviewed, uh, e to the x a plus x b. So that is a b. So what if I take the natural log of the left side and also the right side, and then I get natural log of a b equals natural log e to the x a plus x b. And uh, uh, inverse functions, they cancel each other's effect, x a plus x b. 
And if I look back, what was the x a? There was a natural log a. The x b was natural log b. So this is natural log a plus natural log b. And uh, we have just demonstrated that natural log of a b is equal to natural log a plus natural log b. Or the reverse method also works. So what about um, um, negatives? a divided by b, according to our same definition, e to the x a minus x b, or this is e to the x a divided by e to the x b. So it's a it's a thousand over a hundred. So that's a thousand minus hundred is only a ten. Right, so that is subtracting the uh, exponents. So e to the x a minus x b. Right. Okay. So if we take the natural log of both the left hand side and the right hand side, we get natural log of a over b equals the uh, natural log of e to the uh, x a minus x b, and this gives us x a minus x b. And that, um, by definition, is natural log a minus natural log b. So now we see if you subtract two uh, natural logs, it is equivalent to uh, divide them in inside the natural logs. So uh, just as an example, what if I have something like this? So minus natural log of, um, let's say, final mass plus natural log of initial mass. So what would this be equal to? This is the same as natural log initial mass minus natural log final mass. And according to this, you subtract the two natural logs, you're just making a fraction of the arguments of the natural logs, just like that. Thanks.